In this lesson, we'll look at how to solve a color blindness, eye color genetics question. The question reads, a heterozygous brown-eyed human female who is a carrier of color blindness marries a blue-eyed male who is not colorblind. Color blindness is a sex-linked trait, and that means that the gene associated with color blindness is located on the sex chromosomes. Assume that eye color is an autosomal trait and that brown is dominant over blue. Autosomal meaning that the gene is located on a non-sex chromosome. What is the probability that any of the offspring produced have the following traits? And we have to look at these questions labeled A through H. The very first thing that I want to do is write down the genotype for the female and for the male. So for the female, we have two X chromosomes, and since the female is a carrier, this means that she does not have color blindness, and in order to have color blindness as a female, you have to have inherited the recessive allele on both X chromosomes. Since this person is a carrier, only one of the X chromosomes will have this allele. With that being said, we'll display the allele on this X chromosome, doesn't matter which one you display it on. So I'll call the allele CB for color blindness. And the other allele that occupies the other X chromosome, I'll write it down as plus. This is the normal allele for this trait, where there's no color blindness. Now we're also told that this female has brown eyes. Let's use a letter in the alphabet to designate eye color. Let's use the letter B, but you can use any letter that you like. So big B is dominant and little b is recessive. Remember that dominant is brown and recessive is blue. Since this female is heterozygous brown-eyed, her genotype is big B, little b. So you need two little b's to be blue-eyed. Otherwise, any other combination is brown eyes. So that's the genotype for the female. The genotype for the male is XY, and the male does not have color blindness. So what occupies the X chromosome of this male is the dominant allele, which I'll represent by plus. Now, in terms of eye color, this person has blue eyes, so we have two little b's. Now, to answer these questions, we need to create two crosses, and this is what they will look like. So the first cross is concerning color blindness. We have XXCB, that's the genotype for the female, and the genotype for the male will be written vertically. So the first possibility of their offspring would be XX++, so a female that is completely not a carrier of color blindness and has the normal trait. We have another female that is a carrier and the males will have the following genotypes. One where the person is not colorblind and the other where the person is colorblind. So that's one of the crosses. The other crosses will be in association with eye color. So I'll write down Big B, little b, that's the genotype for the female, and for the male will be written underneath. One possibility is big B, little b, two little b's, big B, little b, and two little b's. So, 50% chance that they'll have brown eyes, and 50% that they will have blue eyes. Okay, so to answer question A, the probability of having brown eyes. Okay, so brown eyes, the probability is two out of the four here, two out of the four reduces down to half, as mentioned before. So that's half. Blue eyes is also half. Color blindness, well, the only person that would have color blindness is the person with this genotype, and that's a one in four chance colorblind males. Remember, there's a half chance that the offspring will be male. And of the two genotypes for that male, 
half of them will be colorblind. So multiplying half and half, 1 over 2 times 1 over 2 makes a quarter. We will write down the same probability as in C being 1 in 4. Moving on to question E, brown-eyed and colorblind males. All right, so brown-eyed, there is a 1 in 2 chance. We've distinguished that. And colorblind males, we'll use that number. We'll take half, multiply that to a quarter, which makes 1 in 8. What about blue-eyed and colorblind females? Well, we learned that none of the females will be colorblind, so the possibility of that is 0%, and multiplying it to the number of blue-eyed, which is half, makes 0. No way. What is the probability that any of the males will be colorblind? So there are two males, and one of their genotypes is colorblindness, so there's a half chance that the males will be colorblind, and why do males show sex-linked traits more often than females? Well, that's because they have one X chromosome. They do not have a second X chromosome to mask the effects of the defected allele. And there you have it. That is how to answer colorblindness, eye color genetics questions.